welcome to Anthony's Brick Build, and today we'll be going over Lego Star Wars set 75190, the first order Star Destroyer. This has 1,416 pieces, and it retailed for $160 back in 2017. It has six really cool minifigures, and of course, the Star Destroyer itself. Now, this was the largest set released for The Last Jedi Wave. Really cool looking box art. And before we go on further on to this video and open up the box, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our notifications button on if you haven't already. And if you want to, please consider joining this channel for some really cool and awesome perks. But let's open up the box and see what's inside. All right, so we have 11 numbered bags right here, looking really good. We also have a pretty large sticker sheet. I like the kind of some of the stickers for the wall decor and the control panels. And then, of course, we have the instruction manual itself. And if you turn to the very end, you have all the other sets that were released back in 2017. Looking actually really cool. And definitely some really good ones. Like, of course, we have Star, Star Destroyer right here. The ATM-6, as well as Kylo Ren's shuttle. And definitely Resistance Bomber. And you can check out all the cool minifigures on this page. It looks like this was made before the Finch Dallow reiteration of the bomber set. It's a pretty cool way. This one is a really cool and older set. And here we have the minifigures starting off with Supreme Leader Snoke. Looking a really good minifigure having those pupilless eyes that Lego just started doing back in 2017. And also having some very nice printing on that gold torso and gold legs. All in all, looking like a pretty good minifigure. Up next, we have the in, the First Order Officer, looking like a really good minifigure. No printed legs, unfortunately, on this figure. But it has a bunch of co code cylinders on his torso, and has that pretty jaunty hat. And he also does have a really nice gunmetal gray color. Then we have a uh, First Order Shuttle Pilot, looking really good. A pretty basic torso and leg design, but has a very unique looking... Um, molded helmet and does have a very nice looking face print. Then we have two stormtroopers included in the set one being a sergeant I believe with a really cool kind of like pauldron the same size as the one that came with Captain Rex and has the regular stormtrooper torso and a leg design and of course we have a regular stormtrooper right here as well and probably one of my favorites in the set BB-9E looking very similar to BB-8 just having that different black color and that more trapezoid um, circular head. So all in all, these are some really good figures included in this Star Destroyer. All right, so here is the Star Destroyer in all of its glory, looking just incredible. It has some really cool features that we'll be going over in just a second, but we have, of course, the carrying handle right here coming out of the center of the flagship. And we have our turbo laser stud shooter batteries on the side. And they work just like regular stud shooters. You just push down the side and it goes flying and you never find it again. But it does have hinges along the side to open. We'll be going over that in just a minute. But we're going on the exterior first. Having a nice combination between studs and plates. Definitely looking pretty good. Definitely a lot more plates and actually a lot more studs on the plates as you go up because there's a lot more of these really cool kind of like big wedge plate designs. And of course the design is mirrored on the other. Moving back to the rear of the ship where the engines are is where it gets pretty cool, is that you have a three large ion engines with eight smaller engines. I believe the middle one is going to be the hyperdrive engine from of course what it would be in Star Wars Universe. And it does look really menacing from the back as well. And how you open up this monstrosity is by first lifting up this um, part of the bridge. And then you lift this part of the side panels up. And you copy it on the other side, making a very large footprint for what the um, Star Destroyer is going to be. But of course, we have the interior where we have the First Order Officer on the command walkway and our pilot down here. Now, I do have to say these are all stickers and Lego was not able to print on these, unfortunately. So that is a kind of downside. But of course, this is from 2017. This would be probably standard in 2024 when this video is being filmed. And of course, we have like some other like little sticker elements. We have a um, other part where we have like a kind of like a table. And we also have our Stormtrooper Commander right here, a medical droid, and kind of like a medical spot where my guess is where Supreme Leader Snoke lives. And speaking of Supreme Leader Snoke, he's up here on basically like his 
kind of like bridge of the ship and does have a Palpatine hologram included in the set, which is a pretty cool added bonus I was not expecting. And here's the mechanism to get the carrying handle up and down. And then on the other side, we have a command area as well with some pretty cool looking wall panels. And you also have the Stormtrooper right here with BB-90. And we also have a pretty cool walkway design for some stairs going up to the main bridge of the Star Destroyer. And how you put it all back together is by lifting this up, making sure it does come down and lifting this part up. So this part of the design does come up and mesh with the hull and then it does fit all back together and it looks really good and a really fun playset. Thank you guys for joining me for this wonderful episode of Anthony's Brick Builds. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn notifications button on if you haven't already and please consider joining this channel for some pretty cool and extra perks. I'll see you guys in the next LEGO Star Wars video and a comparison between the First Order Star Destroyer and the Imperial Star Destroyer coming out in August 2024. I'll see you guys in that video and many more to come. Have a great rest of your day and may the Force be with you.